This is FTC, and we're going to do loser's bracket number 17, Blame God versus FFN. FFN is on top, and Blame, God, so blame God's on bottom. This is the pre-battle analysis. And since we've seen most of these teams before, I'm going to go... I'm going to do less analysis and more into the match. Okay. HP favors Blame God, but not by much, and it's mostly because his units can heal, while FFN has made it clear that his offensive units should only be able to either attack only or only resurrect. Um, Gamish, however, favors F FFM because he has a knight dealing 272 damage, which is bigger than anything on Blame God's squad. He has that that wizard right there, which does Kiku for 204, as most of you have seen, and that Geomancer does 128 off of um, off of uh, Elemental and like 168 off his Blade Neutral Compat, so that's fine. And when you factor in the Compats, they're all, they're all bad Compats, so this is going to be a long match. Um, status favors Blame God, but only because he has two units with Charm compared to FFM having, I think it was Haste, and um, I think just Geomancy, but the Geomancy, but yeah, but it's not that big of an advantage. Of course, any Charm team is going to, luck is going to be far more decisive for that team than team that's mostly using Geomancy, as its only luck factor. But synchronization is where I think that Priest, I just recall from last time from Blame God, that had, that was charging a 6 CTR Rave too. That, that's gonna hurt. That's a lot more than that Time Mage on FFM squad that is low HP and looks like it was just put in there at the last minute. Because, yes, synchronization isn't, you, you didn't synchronize your team well when your 70 Mage, 70 Brave, um, Time Mage has Regenerator instead of something else. And you probably could have distributed the Braves better, FFM, but when you look at your opponent who can probably get mid-charged, that's probably a lot worse. And, um, and any team that has haste automatically gets a boost in synchronization because synchronization is simply how well your team can works with itself to defeat the opponent. Haste is a very strong status. And AI, FFM put some effort into this, and it, and it shows because... He has a, um, he is, that knight cannot, is not capable of healing himself, other than damage plan, though, I think light rope regen. It, it doesn't have chakra, which means that he's always going to be attacking when possible. A wizard does not have more Asami, uh, or any black magic, so she's always going to be using Kiku whenever possible. And with that, let's actually start the match. This is going to be the, the first set of battles I'm going to be doing for the second round of the loser's bracket, LB17. FFM versus Blame, uh, Blame God versus FFM. Blame God's on top, FFM is on bottom. Blame God, as we all remember, has Max the Suicide Ninja, May the Samurai, Yogurt the Wild Bow, and Tao the Priest. Charm, Charm, Healing, Suicider. FFM has Unit 1 the Knight, Offense. Unit 2 the Geomancer, Support, Offense, anything you need. Unit 3 the Wizard, Pure Offense. The tanking abilities come from MP Switch and Armor, and Unit 4, the Time Mage, pure support. The first match will be taking place on map 30. Coilery, Coilery Underground, third floor. Okay. Again, a fairly large map. Ninja goes first. Oh! It's large enough that he can't even hit across the map. Good. So this will act, so this will take some time and it'll be interesting. And that actually should favor the haste squad, simply because once that squad can haste itself, it can much better counterattack a higher speed ninja. But we'll see what actually happens. Okay, ninja's turn again. Yeah. Notice how I said notice that that time age has enough HP to survive that ninja's attack. This is why I didn't Criticize two. Okay, that that Porky's finished. And that was even on bad compat. I mean, poor bad compat between the two as well. Knight surprisingly doesn't do anything. I suspect because he can't. Okay, so the entire squad on FFM is hasted. This can't be good for the other squad. Okay, Porky comes back. So it's still anyone's game, but FFM is looking good. Well. His wizard just got dropped, but otherwise, yes. Ninja damage splits for a good deal.
Ooh. And she's and that and that geomancer's charmed. Okay. That ninja is just proving to be too powerful for FFN Squad to be doing anything, and all that's left is a charmed geomancer. It should be over soon. They're just waiting for charm to wear off, or they'll wear it off themselves and finish him. Okay, congratulations, Flame God. You win round one. We went to round two of the losers bracket, number seventeen between Flame God and FFN. Flame God took round one simply by simply because his ninja was never defeated by FFM Squad. And it just literally destroyed everything. Let's see if that repeats itself on map 105. Terminate. Okay. A smaller map, and that ninja will get a first turn attack this time. Again. That's Moogle, I think, and it stepped on a trap. I thought we deleted these from these maps, but oh well. Okay, so the time mage spent her first turn healing instead of doing anything else. Yes, and that Yoribo can't be healed, and we'll go for Charm on the Knight. Since the Charm is since that Knight is the heaviest damage dealer on the FFM squad, this could be trouble. And the Knight gets hit by Kiku, as well as the Samurai behind the Knight. Okay, the Yoribo comes back up again, but this time not at full health, so the Yoribo should die, but... And another charm goes off, this time on the Geomancer. This is just a, simply a repeat of the first match. It's broken, but then again, this is... Yoribo goes down, but... Another, okay, so here's so here's the problem. Despite the high damage capacity being dealt, FFM, I mean, Flame God only has one unit left capable of dealing damage of any kind. Make that two. Lich, which of course won't kill either target and instead gets her mid-charged and killed. So the advantage still is, is still in Blame God's hands, and it will stay in his hands until that ninja goes down. And that Geomancer will get, keep getting taken down simply because Fairy is not enough to, to defeat the anti-sandbagging from Kiku. This is probably going to end very soon. Even if those two units come back, because it's 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 pretty much fluctuating between three on one and four on three, and that knight was revived just before he died. Nice. So it's so FFM hasn't been ruled out of this tournament yet, but he's much close. Wow, a bad rack for one fifty four. You don't see that every day, do you? Okay, so again, the time mage is forced to heal people, rather than, which is her job, actually her only job, but. Okay, and the ninja from Flame God finally goes down, but look at how much havoc he managed to wreak before he died. He managed to turn the, a match that was 4 on 4 into 4 on 2, mostly by his damage efforts. Ooh, damage blood went off. I mean, MP switch went off. Nice. So FFM squad could, could is still hanging in there, but they're at a disadvantage. And the Yorigo goes down again. And then and the wizard goes down. All they have to do is muster up enough force to finish the time mage. And that will be easy because the time mage is spending her time healing because she was hurt the whole time. It was just that other targets were in the way. Congratulations, blame God, you win. FFM, you've been eliminated. 